Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We just finished off the four crystals, and now we're basically just trying to figure out what's going on. So, honestly, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going here. Um, okay, I guess we have to go up into the cave? I have no idea where I'm going right now, but... Oh, we're just going to the chasm. Okay, so I'm guessing... Tiz is wondering if the chasm is still open or if it's closed. Okay, so probably good to, you know. Oh, cuz, yeah, last episode they said, oh, let's split up, and I'm guessing each of us, probably Adia, is probably checking out Eternia or something like that. Tiz is going to the chasm. Ring of Bell's probably in Florum, I'm guessing, or something. Anya's probably went to the Wind Temple. Let's go ahead and give it a quick save, and then we'll continue. Okay. Chasm is still there, bud. No. So whatever we did with the crystals did not fix it. So you came too, Agnes. Yes. What on earth is happening, Eri? We unleashed the Holy Pillar's light across the world. The great chasm should be gone, but here it is. Uh, I'm not too sure myself. But take a look at this. Uh, the four points of light. Yeah, my brooch has lost its glow. The sea is tainted too. We seem to be right back before the crystals were awakened. <sighs> this is where we first began. The place we met. But some things are different from back then. Huh? We have grown closer, for one. Do you not agree? Yes. We've been through a lot together. We can do this again if it comes to it. Of course. <sighs> okay, Agnes is back. A recent Genesis. I was thinking, Tiz. What if this world has been had been created a mere five minutes ago? What? Crystalist doctrine and scripture, historic temples, the rise and fall of nations, even our memories. All that we believe has come to pass may very well have been created a mere five minutes ago. That thought inevitably creeps into my mind when I see the great chasm before my eyes. That would mean we were created five minutes ago too. Yet we can remember things before that. Yes, but what if the world had been created five minutes ago along with our memories of what has come to pass? Created by who? That I do not know. And yet, when you wake in the morning, it is your mind not full of events that were spontaneously created in your dreams. So you're saying that our memories of what transpired were created by someone a few minutes ago? Yes, for what can you say we truly experienced events and what we believe to be in the past? I don't know. But even if the world were created five minutes ago, and even if our memories themselves were created just then, all I know is we have to close the Great Chasm no matter what. Yes, we must close the Great Chasm, and to do that, we must awaken the crystals. Shall we? Let us go. So... Are we just gonna go reawaken all the crystals over again? We just teleport stone out of here. I know it's like a literally a two minute walk, but I just don't feel like taking it. There we go. For speedrunning this game, you know, we have to do that. Actually, that reminds me. I should go to the save guy, and I need to buy some more things. So. I need to come to you. 
Okay, I don't care about the friends because I'm on an emulator. Items. I need to buy more. Ooh, I need to buy more Phoenix Downs. Actually, probably. Let's just buy like a bunch here. So we used the we used the, a lot in the last episode, and then I came for one. Oh, yes. I want to buy more teleport stones because we've actually been using them a little bit lately. Let's just buy like uh, I'm like spamming my button as hard as I can. Let's just buy like 40 of those. Oh, and let's also save over here. Why not? Okay, save. Bang. Oh, there's ring a bell. It is no good. No one remembers. Huh? You mean the fire set by the Black Mage? No, not that. I was only in this town a short while, but I met many fine women during my sojourn. These were exciting, passionate encounters. Yet no one seems to remember them. Adia would say you had a one-track mind if she heard that. And I would agree with her. Uh, you are right. Let us keep this between us. But is it not strange? They did not merely forget our meat. They were unaware of my existence. It is as if the whole town is playing a prank on me. I saw the face of that dark knight ring a bell. He looked like... Yes. I saw it too. I'm not ready to confront that particular matter yet, though. Has any of your memory returned? <clears throat> hey, ring a bell. I've talked with Agnes. We think we might as well just start again from the beginning. Start again? Go on another journey to awaken the crystals? The sea is tainted once more. I would like to check on the crystals. Very well then. Count me in. I'll get to meet all the women of the world again. With a clean slate. Oh, what more could a man want? Fair enough, I guess. You're taking this well. Okay, now we just need to go get a Dia. Real quick party chat though. <sighs> the two journals. I suspected as much. This can't be a coincidence, Ring a Bell. You mean the journal that the Dark Knight Alternus dim dropped? Right, except for some obvious differences in wear and tear, it looks exactly like the D's journal we have. Right, but the similarities don't stop there. The last half is quite different, but the first half is almost exactly the same. It's as if Altern Alternus's journal supplements the prophecy in D's journal. Are they truly so similar? That they are. Even the handwriting and wording are almost a perfect match. So ring a bell, you're saying Dee's journal is... Well, we can safely assume Alternus's journal was written by Alternus himself. And the portion of Dee's journal here that resembles it. Dee's journal, who could have arc? Are you alright, ring a bell? I'll be fine, just give me a little time to think. Okay. We'll probably figure that out in a little while here. Let's go to... Adia, probably? Is it... Oh, oh, Adia. Just walk right past her. Uh. Adia! Oh, there you are. It's strange, isn't it? I don't want to believe that everything we've done up to now was just a dream. I went as far as betraying my homeland and my father to follow this path. It was no dream. I remember your struggles. But... Does it not seem that my circumstances here are unique? At first I thought time had merely been wound back. I don't know whether it's a side effect of the darkness being cleansed, or whether some powerful magic was accidentally triggered, but it doesn't add up. Why am I here with you now? It's true. I wouldn't worry about that. You are not the only one for whom things don't make sense. 
If time had been turned back, there are things that would not add up for me either. I spent close to a week here, yet all memory of me has been erased from the women. Uh, the people of the town. Really? Don't think too hard about it now. There are too many unanswered questions. All the more reason for us to start again from scratch, I think. From scratch? Let us make for the Crystal Temples. I see. Okay, I'll do it. I've come this far. I might as well stick around. First, let's go back to the inn and compare notes. Huh? Hadia joined the party again. Two of you. Come to think of it, when I first came to this land, you were the first one to speak to me, Ringabel. Was I? It seems so long ago. I do recall going over to talk to you after seeing you on the street corner. Yes, that was our very first meeting. With the Ringabel who I met when I first set foot on this land. And the Ringabel standing before me now, they somewhat seem like different people. Two different people. I don't know what to say, but Captain Owen did mention something. What's that? He said things like, let's go boar hunting again sometime, or where have you been the past few days? But when I told him I had no idea what he was talking about, he let out a hearty laugh and said I was quite the jester. And then I met you at the Great Chasm, tis. And after that, the Black Mage Ominous Crope at the City of Flames and all four of us finally met. Hmm. Memory still fails me. The only thing I can do now is compare Dee's journal to Alternus's. Alright. To the end we go, I guess. When we go to the Crystal Temples, will you perform the Rite of Awakening again? Ares' brooch seems to show that the crystals are no longer awakened. The Rite must be performed. Do you have your Vestal garb? It was safely stored among our belongings. Along with that Bravo bikini. Anyway, the existence of these items is more evidence that this is no mere warping of time. We obtained both the Vestal Garb and the Bravo Bikini after going to Ansha. It doesn't make sense for us to have them now. The clock has not simply been wound back, it seems. There you are. This was the right place. Hold up. So you know who we are, Dads? What? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Well, uh... How do I explain? Oh, are Zats and the Tavern Proprietress with you? Yeah, they're both fine. They're on the airship. Airship? Right. We have the echelon all loaded up as well. We found ourselves on the deck all of a sudden, up in the skies to the east of the kingdom. So, uh, what exactly is going on? This is good news. Let's head for Grandship right away then. Okay, so they remember us, which is interesting. Hmm. Something bizarre is happening, that's for sure. If I didn't know better, I'd say we were hallucinating. I'm just happy that good old drunken pig and you lot are both 
on! It's good to have a woman on our side at a time like this. <laughs> With Dats and Zats here, we can be certain we haven't gone back in time, no? Perhaps time started going backwards for those of us there at the Holy Pillar. In that case, where are our past selves from this point in time? I haven't a clue. No point trying to work this out logically. Let's start by doing what we can. Right on, yes? We're lucky to have Grandship. It should be a quick flight to the Crystal Temples. Well, let's head to one of the temples and see what is up. Leave the piloting to me. Yeah, let's do it. Oh! Hold on, go back. Beyond 999, have you powered up to the point where you can uh, is the most damage you can do if you're playing normally, but there's a way to go beyond that limit. During Bray the Second, you can do, you can rest, okay, cool. Okay, we've got a lot of places to go, dang. Naval attachment. No, I don't think we'll repair the Eshla and keep on using her. No, I think we will we'll repair, yes. What's going on? Well, I think, well, I was just talking to Dads and Zats about the Eshla. They had an idea. Idea about the Eshelot? That's right, we're using her as a sea vessel now, but as you know, the Eshelot was originally an airship. Right, the sky stone that allowed her to fly was shattered. Right, I've heard the story before. But, she's still an airship. Sure, she can sail the open sea, but not as well as a real sea vessel. Lucky for, lucky for us, Grandship has plenty of seaworthy vessels stored away. You can take your pick. If you want, we can get one of them ready for you to use. That's what we were talking about. Another ship, but I don't have any problem with the Eshelot, just the way uh, she is. And she's fast enough for our needs. I agree, above all, we have become quite attached to the Eshelot. Yes, it's where I fought my very first battle, after all. And even though I don't recall ever sailing it, I took the helm with almost frightening ease. Well, we had a hard time at first when it attacked us, though. True, but that led me to meeting Tiz and the others. The Eshelot has been like another member of our party ever since. I suppose that settles it. You folks have become attached to the old girl, and I don't think anything could, I could say would change your mind. You could say that again. But we're counting on you to keep the Eshelot ship shape and seaworthy. Of course, you will. Just leave it to us. Ring a bell's sleep talk. Hmm, where's Ring a bell? He's taking a little break. Said something about not feeling well. Really? Didn't he just say, leave the piloting to me? Is something the matter, Adia? Dats is looking for him. He says the hull's showing wear. He needs some materials to make repairs. I suppose I'll just have to wake him up. He's sleeping like a baby. Who knew he was so cute when he sleeps? Black. Minus strike. Mastered. Up to Black Bane. On this powerful combo, but even with a thousand lives. Stand ground, auto phoenix. Uh, after, is there something else? Grand Marshal, even the move of Shri would be nice. Enough of his gibberish already. Wake up, Dats is looking for you. Uh, what's the harm in letting him sleep a little longer? Look, doesn't Ring a Bell look as happy as a pig in the mud? You're right, he does, haha. -ha. Okay, we can also do a quick update on our town, I guess. Okay. Okay, only one thing got done. Let's go ahead and stick all of our men on that one. Okay. So, my question is, are we able to straight up just redo- Ooh, I move my cursor. Are we just redoing everything we've done so far? Like, I just get off right here. And we go in here. Do we fight Holly and- We do. Here they are again. again? What? They've already beaten us to a pulp. And now they're back for seconds? Those snotty-nosed brats. They look innocent enough, but what a mean streak! They'd give you a run for your money, Holly! Watch your mouth, meathead. Would you like a boot to the face? Oh, perfect. They brought more friends with them this time. 
Whoa there, hold up! Isn't that a deal with them? Hmm. I knew that little hussy wasn't to be trusted. Huh. The Templar's daughter, of all people. Hey! Medea! What's this all about? Have you gone and stabbed us in the back? Whoa! Turn the volume down! I haven't been this riled up since... this morning! Ah, oh, well... Time for Are we gonna have to fight two. every single person again? Something's got them real mad! Because it's gonna if be a long... If you finish the job you started, you forget. I'm a skilled white maid. It's gonna be a long ah, series I've if I have to redo it. Healed our wounds completely. Never underestimate your elders. <laughs> you. All right, so I guess we go again. Holy crap! Okay, so I'm looking at the guide, and so all of the these battles are not necessary, but of course they're, you know. We should probably do them. Um, okay. Well then, I really do want to do them, because I want to complete this game like normal. So I guess, like I said, I am... Um, well, actually, you didn't hear me say it because I was in a battle. I'm probably going to have to make episodes either really long, or just do a lot of cutting to go from blue to blue to blue, because there's a lot of fights. So, for this episode, I'm maybe going to do this fight and, like, one other one. Um, yeah, and then I don't even know if, sh if I'll show the entire fight. This time, the, the thing that I'm going to do differently is I'm going to kill the monk first, because the monk is actually kind of an issue. I'm going to go ahead and default. I'm going to pressure point the Boris. I'm going to use... I'm just going to default with him. And then a withering ripple on Boris here. And I'm and I'm gonna do it fast because again, these fights are gonna take absolutely forever, so. And we'll do this one and maybe one other two. Hopefully I can finish this one. Like I said, I died the first time, so. These ones aren't like crazy, crazy easy. I'm, I have to switch Tiz to something else. That Templar is just so weak. Maybe I maybe I'll make him a ninja too. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and just Oh, actually, we'll just use um here on everyone here. Go ahead and do a Fura on Boris. Okay, Anya's is dead. Fair enough, that Kira came a little too late. Okay, let's go ahead and default again. I'm just gonna do that once so we can go ahead and Phoenix. And then Kirata. Okay, let's do another Fura. There we go. Alright, with Tiz, let's go ahead and do, I guess, a high jump. Mm, we'll see that rejuvenate. Let's just go ahead and default, and then default. Okay. Ouch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and default. Another Kirada. Default. Okay. That, like, didn't do anything. At least we'll keep to safe. Some more defaults here. Okay, default, default. Let's go ahead and use a Blizzaga on Boris. Ouch. Okay. We need to get those buffs off of him. We're gonna do another jump. Um, let's do a pressure point there, that'll help. We can do... No, I still don't want to rejuvenate. I'll use that to win. I'm running out of MP also. Okay, then we can just do some big magic on him, and we'll call it a day here. Ouch. Okay, Kirata back up. There we go. Um, default... Actually, no. We'll use another... Pressure point. Let's just use another Kirata. And we use a piercing bolt. There we go. The Kirata. Yeah, Agnes is in death range right now, so I gotta be careful about that. 
Bang, right in the head. Jump, yeah, Tiz does nothing. I'm After this, I'm switching his class, I don't care. This, the Templar is terrible, it's just not doing anything. Its defense isn't even high. Like, you have one job, have high defense. You can't even do that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and switch him off of that. Okay, we can do another Kirada here. And then just do one Fiora, I guess. It's physical tap. Ooh, and there goes Adia. Um, let's just go ahead and, uh, there's literally nothing I can do with him. He's terrible at everything. Okay, we'll do Rampart, I guess. Maybe that'll help. Just do one more pressure point. We'll use... Wait, what? No, not run. Phoenix down on Adia. Okay, hello? I want a Brave once. Phoenix Adia. And then do a Kirada. That should be good here. Okay. Rampart. Okay, we're going to default. Um, default. Another Firaga here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another Rampart. That's actually not a terrible move there. Default. Firaga. Hopefully we can... I was hoping to Rampart before then. But that works, I guess. I guess let's just... We'll do Rampart again. And then we'll have to do three here. Phoenix. Phoenix. And we'll do the Rejuvenation here. Hopefully we... No! Oh, the Rampart saved us. Maybe. Rampart actually did something good for once. Or, T Tiz did something good for once. Maybe he isn't so bad. Maybe. Let's do another Kirada. We need to get rid of him, because he's going to keep blasting that move. And that move is... That, that move kills. Oh, killed himself. I guess this is the end. You've got to be kidding me, Barris. What are you doing? Stand up! Get on your feet and roar like you always do! I can't get into my rhythm otherwise! <sighs> you worthless worm! Don't! <sighs> There's nothing worse than a man. Who lets women down? Chill out, bro. Well, you'll be next, so. There we go. Just default. Default and default. <laughs> yeah, that arrow literally does nothing, so. You know what we're even gonna do? Um, does she have any buffs at the moment? Let's do... I kind of want to just, like, reflect. Uh... Reflect on ring -a Maybe that'll reflect back into her. Maybe. I don't know. But let's, let's just, like, give it a try. So let's cure only Adia. And do a piercing bolt on Holly. Okay. I was hoping um, that wouldn't happen. That's alright. Let's just do a rampart. Oh. Just do just a rampart. We could do just some normal attacks. And then we're gonna have to do another Phoenix down. And Kirata just on the Dia, because I have my reflect on. I'm hoping her arrow reflects back onto her. It doesn't matter if it does, I'm just having fun at this point. Ouch. I just want her to do an arrow just so Well, now I'm ramparted, I guess, so doesn't matter either way but there we go let's just go ahead and default and use the piercing bolt 
Hopefully she'll die quick. Like I said, I need to get a few of these fights in today, so... Say goodbye! Hmm. Bang. Yeah, these guys have a surprising amount of HP, though. Hmm. Let's default, default, and default. She's cured herself. Okay. Um... Do a heart strike, I guess. But she, she's not using arrow at all, which is kind of annoying. That's that's why I put the reflect on ring a bell, just so we can. Um, is the reflect gone now? It might be gone. That's so annoying. I just I wanted to do something fun, and she's like, okay, well now I'm gonna stop actually using that. All right, let's not let her heal up here. Let's go ahead and just blast her. Alright, let's just go. I'm just gonna attack her with everything I got. I'm a little bored now. I just want her to die. Even with Ring of Bell, I'm gonna go ahead and start using the uh, Aerogas here. I'm tired of this. Okay. Oh, I'm out of mana. Okay. Let's do two of these. And then we'll do a Blazaga. And then a Blazaga. Let's do that. And hopefully she'll die. Here. Okay, that's not gonna help. Oop, that does like no damage. Fair enough. Should have expected that. How could you do this to your elder? What cruel. Rats. All that showing off. You really make me sick. Okay. Do we get do we get no XP for that? They seemed different from last time. You mean they weren't like that? Not quite. No. And they seem surprised to see us. They said something about us bringing friends. Last time it was just you and me, Tis. Right. Hmm. Party chat. Who has changed? Now I understand. Understand what, Dia? Polly and Barris must have run into us a short while ago. Huh? Us? I see what you mean. That would explain their reaction. They met the versions of us from this world? Now I'm truly confused. Come to think of it, I got a completely different impression. Those two than the first time we met them. You mean their hearts weren't black? I'd say it was more like they were impossible to hate. Maybe it was because I met them for the first time, but I agree with the idea. They didn't seem black-hearted. Or perhaps it was we who have changed. I wonder, but personally, I don't think I've changed. I agree, you haven't changed in one bit, ring a bell, but I... That's something you can work on. Okay, um... Let's see, we're all fully healed? No, we're not, okay. Well, let's head to the city. So here's what I'm gonna do for this episode. I know we're already running long. I'm gonna do two more blue fights. No, one more blue fight, only one more blue fight. And then um, next episode, we'll maybe focus on doing a lot of the blue fights. Maybe get them done and then we'll do the crystals or something. Okay, so let me head to another one. But let me save real quick. There we go. I guess the next one we can do is we can go to the... We can go to Ominous, right? Ooh, that is not what I wanted to open. Okay, oh, is it not going to let us open it? Can I open the ship? Yes. There we go. So I want to just go straight to... Ominous is in here, right? I think this is where he's at. 
Okay, should be right in here. It, it cannot be! Idea! With the Wind Vestal and her followers? No, that can't be right! Impossible! What are you talking about? First, I'd like you to answer a question, Ominous. When did I leave the Knights of the Eternian Sky? Ah! She speaks! I must be hearing things! That's it! Black Mage! Ominous Crow! Get a grip! Be quiet! Don't talk to me! You can't be real! So leave me alone! I know what to do! I'll just incinerate your soul till nothing is left! <laughs> huh? What is with you people? That's just not right! Do you? Yeah, what's all you. Yeah, that's it! I mean, he did nothing wrong. <sighs> there should be no more fires in town now. I was serving under the Black Mage Ominous Crow when you first met me, right? It occurred to me when we came to this world that perhaps there's another version of me here. But she's nowhere to be found. I wonder why. I'm sure there will be other discrepancies between this world and the last. For instance, why did Ominous look so afraid of me back there? He did seem strangely fearful. I think I have an idea. Huh? What's that ring about? This is just a guess, but perhaps in this world, Idea's anger at the heresy of the Black Mage came to a head. She may have given him a sound beating, then left this place. <laughs> that sounds like something Idea would do. It would also explain how scared he looked. I'll admit, even if you had not shown up in the previous world, I would probably still have left the Attorney and Sky Knights. But you make me sound like a hothead who lashes out without warning! Do not worry, Idea. You may be quick to anger, but your other charms make up for it. Some compliment that is. Okay, that's another fight out of the way. But, um... I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I'm going to go ahead and heal. 
And next episode, I guess we'll continue with all of the other blue fights. Because I do want to get them all done. But real quickly, before I end, let me just go ahead and heal. And then I am still thinking of maybe switching Tiz off of this job and putting them to something else. I don't want to have two ninjas. But I'm kind of tempted on putting them as a, also a ninja. But I might also take Ringabel and Adia off of their jobs just so I can um, love you know like work on their secondary. But either way, I'm gonna end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to look in the comment, ask for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.